light may yet come into my life. A beautiful son is born to me, and his name is Jair Bolsonaro. Based Maxor strikes again. How's it going everybody? Jack here with another video. Welcome to the Chill Zone. Or oh, if you are a subscriber, welcome back to the Chill Zone. So today I'll be checking out another video requested to me, a video by Maxor called Gods of Brazil, based on the Crusader Kings 3. And I didn't know this because I didn't know the game. And the Crusader Kings series seems to be very popular on YouTube, actually, with people making all types of stories on how it is that Europe could have been. But in terms of Brazilian gods, though, I'll say that I know only Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Roberto Carlos, Pele, not to be forgotten, and of course, the best goalkeeper of all time, come at me, Jesus. <laughs> but without further ado, let's check out Max Source review. Crusader Kings 3 is a game that's played by YouTubers all the time. But if you're new to Crusader mm. Kings 3 or simply a grizzled veteran, please allow me to set the record straight. This game is a complicated, multifaceted example of why we should never allow computer intelligence to attain sentience or even affect the real world in any meaningful way. It okay. is a character-based territory strategy game dealing with the complicated systems of feudalism, but specializing in the production of garbage. Only in a cursed oh. world of digital abstraction does any system believe that this is okay. And the only way to describe to you the depth of chaos which occurs in this bedeviled software is to describe to you the experiences of which you are capable. Everything that you can do, the AI can also do, probably worse. So keep that in <laughs> mind as I delve into the full range of absurdity and death present within the early medieval world. We imagine being German and waking up one day and just finding out that your country is in fact Brazil. <laughs> it would be so weird. Our story begins in the world of 867, the Viking Age, as the humble Count Hastate of Montegu. Count Hastate would aspire yeah. to nothing and be insignificant if he did not have slightly less soldiers than the entirety of the Byzantine Empire. And <laughs> Hastate has determined, probabilistically, that God is not merciful and has come to destroy all those who call themselves Italian. <laughs> Oh no. Alright, so Italy looks like this now. We rank up like a Pokemon and begin sorting out our court. One day while at a feast, a man named Count Cadulto passed by the king and asked him if he could partake of some ice cream. The king, <laughs> king feeling cheeky and protective of his supply, retorted that Cadulto could only have a spoonful. At which point, Cadulto pulled out a comically oversized spoon, and the king determined right then and there that he must die. In exchange for the death of the serial cream thief, the Pope of Christianity sought an alliance with a pagan conqueror who destroyed Italy. Oh uh, no, was just Pope that Nicolaus. Much of an asshole, I guess. Jesus. King Charles of France, hearing of the death of his close friend Cadulto, composes some slam poetry. But it was <laughs> so bad that he literally lost prestige points by writing it. So he attempts to fucking murder me. What? It's poetry, dude. Calm down. <laughs> also, there is a minor risk of a Catholic rebellion. I guess they don't like Odin. And when they do, <laughs> uh, not no, only do they, they demand don't. my conversion, but also that I become Italian. This is not an option. On second thought, I'm fine with the Christianity, just no pizza, dude. Please. And that was a constant thing, right? Like how um, the Viking Age ended. And this actually speaks to a lot on how, um, like, sometimes misinterpreted history tend to be. Because, you know, the Vikings are depicted most of the time as being these barbaric individuals, even in recent video games, which they did engage in. No doubt of that, they did rape and pillage. But like most others also did. It is not something that I condone, obviously. The point is just that uh, there is this aspect of them being actually good tracemen and being individual who actually has strategic genius that tends to be forgotten. Like, for example, the Sons of Ragnar Lofbrok, right? Unlike the depiction that Vikings makes them of, the likes of Sigurd, Snake in the Eye, or Ivar the Boneless, where not that much of fighters at all. They were cunning strategists fooling the British to sell off their territory and so much more. The one thing of course that was uh, kind of mandatory in making deals was this conversion into Christianity that was kind of weird. I mean it was built on this whole concept of elitism in well, the Christian kingdoms, because this whole position of you being a king is something that is ordained by God, so you cannot be a pagan and have such a high status within the monarchy. 
please. With a new religion comes a new title and a new kingdom, the kingdom of Brazil. For if you shall not come to Brazil, Brazil will come to you. If you will not put Brazil in your grand strategy game, then I guess I will have to resort to drastic measures. Okay, so they killed me. Oh, I see. It didn't even touch Portugal. It just went straight off for Brazil. <laughs> Let's just make our own. The saga of the boy King Einar begins with a tale at court. During a feast, a man known as Count Cadulto II <laughs> suddenly springs forth, bringing the king a pie. Excited, the young king demands to know oh, the God. flavor of the pie. However, Count Cadulto II simply responds with pie several times over again. Minorly annoyed, the noble king responds by informing Count Cadulto II Jesus. that he is hungry. To which Count Cadulto responds in a most disturbing of ways. First waving to the king, and then making a pun. Hi, hungry. I'm dad, dad. He says. With this, Count Cadulto has admitted that he is the illegitimate father of the king and is therefore summarily executed the next day for the crime of fornication. As thanks for the destruction of the great fornicator, the Pope decides to invite me to a cool day trip to the city of Jerusalem. So we raise our armies and watch oh, no. stands around for no reason. And with great <laughs> zeal, we finally arrive to the Holy Land and get our assholes sent to another dimension. Yeah, you guys have fun with the rest of your crusade. I'll be supporting you all from the sidelines. Good luck. I don't know, just like spam has out like a bunch of ants or something it'll be funny then the pope just like commits fornication while in the middle of a crusade wait hold on the catholic world was appalled to learn that the pope nicolaus himself was caught in flagrante delicto with several young servants in his home the poor aide who discovered them had to advert his eyes while the culprit rushed to grab their clothes and get dressed while the scandal amongst the clergy has nothing while scandals amongst the clergy are nothing new, many are aghast by the head of faith who succumb to such temptations. But it's always the head of faith who succumb to such temptations. ...and validating the entire reason for going. He's fucking 79 women. And as a result, by the end of the failed crusade, we had chopped his arm off. Around the king only seemed to reside darkness and despair as he watched helplessly as the Pope was invaded by some random guy and we couldn't help him, I don't know why. I decide instead to take the territory for myself, but not give it back to the Pope in order to protect the women of the province. This sure. causes like half of the Christian world to start losing faith in the Pope, including myself, and turning to strange heresies. This includes Adamatism, where the adherents are anarcho-primitivists who wear no clothes. Which what? begs the question, there are children in this game, but even amid oh. such terror and destruction, light may yet come into my life. A beautiful son is born to me, and his name is Jair Bolsonaro. Based Maxor strikes again. So, you will have to excuse my posing here, but this man, I'm not Brazilian, and I don't know how the guy got elected, but... Jesus! Big man on that statue should have been pointing his hand at the guy and be like, you are sus. Jair is like on a scale of, let's say, Ivan the Terrible and Caligula. He's somewhere like in the middle. The guy who feels like genocidal military autocracy who didn't do enough in Brazil. The guy who said to a congresswoman, I quote, I will not hate you because you don't deserve it. <laughs> I guess that if you have to depict somebody who's truly evil, he's the one to go with. It has been over three score since my father had created the most holiest of faiths and destroyed the fornicators of Rome. To be Brazilian is not simply nationality, but ideology, order and progress. A manifestation of the soul and Zero the destruction order. of the sinner. And though my father was just and he was brave, though he kept the commandments and stayed his course, he was not Brazilian enough. And so I <laughs> Slain him. The uh. commandments are written, and they are just marrying your sister and legally being permitted to eat her, owning a harem comprised of your sisters, legalized witchcraft and murder, and worst of all, women can participate in society, and I didn't have to fucking cheat to do it. You may wonder to me. How be this a Christian religion? Uh. But I say to thee, it is not but Brazilian. <laughs> Have we come to Brazil? Wars for purity in one thousand places, 
And yet the world still smells of sin. Our ways <laughs> must be brought to others for the salvation of mankind. And so the king, like his grandfather before him, would be known as a great destroyer. His grandfather, the realm of Italy, and his father, the religion of Italy. So it is with him, the destroyer of the French. He plunged his wow. sword into more and more men, and yet not enough sin was to be cleansed. Ew. The beleaguered boy, <laughs> king of France, for all that he was worth, was unable to resist. Even after the video game deleted like half of all <laughs> French culture because a Norse character conquered it, I'm serious, that actually happened. It was no still men. not enough for Jair. Never. Never enough for Jair. No. Have you ever made a god before? It truly is not as difficult as one would think. <laughs> the Egyptian did a it. A long time ago, a pharaoh had done it. And a long time ago, a man like you had done it. <laughs> King Jair had made a great folly. This guy. <laughs> he had done it as well. <laughs> this guy for is fucking the amazing. In the sky, there may only be one sun. And through the grace of God had he built the great Brazil. But Brazil was never to be the equal to God. Brought down and the wrath! So shall we bring a lullaby for our sin? Wow. God just nuked the world because of May <laughs> Jair. May slate be wiped clean for another world, another yeah. time. That men may know if only for a little while, a world of purity. Of sanctity, a world where all come to Brazil. Wow! Oh, he's played control. Okay, totally unrelated. But yeah, we could imagine a world where all comes to Brazil and enjoy the carnaval. <laughs> Yeah, it truly feels like Crusader Kings is like, build your own stories on steroid. It's crazy. And I thought the civilization and the way that you could change the course of history was bad. I guess this one is uh, a bit creepier at least. But for anybody who decides to go to Brazil, there's but one thing to remember. Brazil won. Germany 7. <laughs> 2014 never forget but guys thank you for checking out this video if you have any recommendation please leave them in a comment section below i wish you all to have a wonderful day hit the like and subscribe button of course if you like the video and go and subscribe to maxor as well with that said though i wish you all a wonderful day see you guys next time bye